Oh, a spinning VAP cap? Yeah, really fun story behind this one. Back in 2016, reading on some forums and just interfacing with some people, it was becoming kind of evident that some people that were using our product were having difficulty with the spinning, with the dexterity necessary to hold their product and aim a torch at the same time. This was prior to any induction heaters. And I remember thinking to myself, well, it'd sure be nice if I could just make it spin. It'd be easy to heat it. And so all you have to do is just hold it steady and it would just continue to spin. I remember searching and searching and searching, trying to find some tiny little ceramic bearings. And I found some bearings that were used in fishing rod reels. I ended up having to order these things online. It took about a month for them to get here. And then for the center part, in order to have enough mass, but to keep things nice and compact, I had to have some tungsten rods manufactured. Tungsten is a rather difficult material to machine. Trying to drill a long, deep hole through tungsten is not exactly easy. These tubes were actually made by casting the tungsten rod and then using a wire EDM to cut out the center part of this rod to make a tube. And then when we finally got the parts, uh, Jason uh, put it on his little manual lathe and we just did a little bit of cleanup in the inside diameter so that I could get the bearings to fit just right. And then I polished up the exterior. For the video here, I put on a nice little prototype tip that we've never really shown before either. The facets just catch the light really nice. In order to make it spin well, it's like, okay, there's a couple things that I want to do. Number one, I want to use the lowest friction coefficient bearings I can find. To me, that was really easy. From my understanding of bearings and having messed with these things in the past, is like, got to use ceramic bearings, just period. Uh, the other thing I was looking for is I wanted to have some mass. So uh, on this little guy, that uh, for those of you that have met me over the years uh, at trade shows, etc., I've kind of showed this to, to people kind of in person, never really publicly until now, because it was one of those things that I really wanted us to get it into production and be able to announce it and make it a bit more of a surprise. Yeah, there's some more stuff like that hitting the market right now. And kudos to any of the makers out there that are making things like this because we really appreciate the innovation that's going on out there. The reason why we haven't brought it to the market as of yet is number one, scalability it was difficult. And we were really trying as a company to focus on making the things that the majority of our customers were really seeking and looking for in trying to really grow up as a company, grow up as a manufacturer, get a little bit more refined in terms of how we're able to take our raw stock that we're buying and machining and turning into M's, into Omnis, and the Thai Woodies at the time, uh, and then eventually the, the Vongs and the Nana Vongs and the Hydra Vongs. Make those things, get efficient, uh, reduce our waste, improve our quality control, uh, institute all of the other systems and processes that are necessary to manufacture any product at scale. We had a whole lot of growing up to do to get good at doing these things. Hopefully, we'll have something like this in the not too distant future.